Three hikers nearly froze to death after becoming stranded on the Appalachian Trail during the winter storm. They were rescued by the National Guard in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park this morning. News 13's Emma Wright is streaming live at Mission Hospital where they were being treated. And Emma, the hikers actually thought they were prepared. They did. They say they checked the weather report, and the weather report called for rain, so they didn't pack any cold weather gear. They say they were shocked when they got stuck in blinding snow and sub-zero temperatures. Not much is left in Jonathan Dobbin's hiking pack. He burned most of his gear trying to stay warm while he was stuck overnight on the Appalachian Trail. We checked all the, new, the weather channels and all that stuff, and we saw it was supposed to rain. So we packed rain gear. Dobbins, Stephen White, and another friend, Sean Hood, had been planning to hike the trail for 10 days. They started at Fontana Dam Thursday morning. Up the next hill. So I just kept on going and going and going. As the friends hiked higher, conditions quickly went downhill. By 5 o'clock, it went from not sticking at all to about 2 inches and 20 minutes. Blinding snow, freezing temperatures made the three men weak. We couldn't take. 10, 15 steps and stop for 20, 30 seconds to catch her breath. They huddled together and called for help. From knees down, I was done. The hikers spent 12 long hours in a makeshift lean-to battling the brutal cold. It was all up under it with a little propane tank, burning it like a little makeshift heater. Uh, that's when I started freaking out. Early Friday morning, help finally arrived. A helicopter rescued them from the mountainside. They spent the day recovering at Mission Hospital. During our interview, Stephen White got a call from his mother, one of many frantic family members waiting anxiously for good news overnight. I'm feeling all right. I just, I still really can't feel my feet. The hikers say they learned their lesson. But I always pack for the stuff that don't seem likely. And hope other people learn from them too. The hikers were treated for hypothermia and frostbite here at Mission Hospital, and they tell me despite this whole ordeal, they want to try hiking the Appalachian Trail again. Reporting live tonight in Asheville, I'm Emma Wright, News 13.